Here's my cardoons. Um, bees love them. Well, there's one in there, look. Please don't sting me. And I've got two of these. Uh, they, they flow up lots of heads, though, with different flowers on. As you can see, some of them have uh, finished flowering now, but some of them are still flowering or yet to open. And I grow these in a tyre, believe it or not. I got them from a garage. I just went around one day and says, uh, because you see, I'd heard that they have to pay money to get them taken away. So I says, do you want me to get rid of some of the tires for you? And they went, thank you very much. And I went, no, no, thank you. Because I grow stuff in them. Look, there's another bee on that one. All right, I've got two cardoon plants in here. But this one at the back, is, um, it's gone now, pretty much. It's, it's started to die. But if you look down at the bottom of it, it's thrown up lots of lovely little plantings which I'm going to leave just where they are for now, um, middle of August. What I'll do next spring is I'll carefully separate those and I'll get lots of new plants. I'm not actually counting them, but there's quite a few, at least three I'd say. Um, so what I'm going to do in the meantime, just to help these plants, is I'm going to snip off what's left of the, um, the old one. I'm going to get my snippers in there. Can you see? Tight squeeze. Get rid of that. And that'll help these plantlings get some more energy. Because I know it looks dead, but believe it or not, there's still a bit of life in that, as you'll see when I... Uh, oops. Just pick this up. See? Still a bit of life in that, so it's taking energy. So we'll get rid of that, I'll, I'll snip it up into smaller pieces and compost it. And just to make things neat and tidy, what I'll also do is I'll cut these stumps right back down as well. But I'm not going to do that now because it's a little bit tricky one-handed. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, looking after my cardoons and like I say, hopefully we'll be able to use some of these. I'll dig them up in spring very carefully, separate the roots and I'll, I'll pop them on as uh, individual plants. If you do need quite a lot of space, they grow quite tall. I'd say they're only one tyres worth of soil deep and it's easily as tall as me. So if you if you had a proper garden with proper soil, I dare say you could probably get um, at least six foot tall plants, at least, with many, many flowering heads on that the bees like. So that's what I'm going to do with my cardoons. Nice one.